Many of Detroit's biggest industries have left the city limits, leaving behind hundreds of abandoned factories. As the population moved out, they left behind churches, schools, homes, and hotels, all now abandoned. That's led to a new industry in Detroit, tours of the ruins. My name is Jesse Walter, and my company is a Mortar City Photography Workshops. I give uh, tours. It's, it's not just about tours. It's, it's a photography workshop company. I'm just trying to find a location, make sure people are, are safe at the location. And last year, I went into over 60 different buildings. You know, this used to be thriving and just tons of people here. You know, a good community, and now it's just like it's like a, an abandoned city. The train station's like the mecca for photographers. You know, everybody wants to get in there, everybody wants to take pictures. Yeah, we're in St. Agnes Catholic Church. It's on Rosa Parks, just north of West Grand Boulevard. Was, the last group that was in here that was trying to make a, a church out of it was, uh, I want to say like 2001. And next to it was, uh, it was a girl's Catholic church. And it literally looks like a bomb. It went off of it. It's just empty. Most of them are kind of in, in awe, you know, and they can't believe that something just sits, sits here like this. This is uh, what's left of the Packard Automotive plant. Um, this, this being the newest part of the structure, even though it looks old. Local hotels say they've seen an uptick in visitors from around the world coming to see the ruins. Some enterprising locals charge the tourists to watch their cars, since there can be crime around some of the abandoned building sites. They come in, take pictures. I give them a little history lesson and you know, warn them about the dangers of walking through there. I tell them uh, the story of how at one time there were 15,000 people working here at any given time, how the Merlin motors were built here for Rolls-Royce there in World War II, handmade. Uh, what a beautiful community it used to be. I'm retired military. Uh, I do this just to supplement income. It's a little, you know, help out. I guess one thing that's it's hard for me to put my head around is the fact that just kind of live in this. People go and they conduct their everyday lives and that's the stuff you're supposed to see, you know. It's just not right. 